Alex Wythak is now following. Hello, I am here, finally. I promised I would do the playthrough for, well... This is the start map by Paul and Fairweather. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Get the lore at the beginning. Since it's my really stupid Finglish, I'm not gonna read it out loud, but <laughs> it's on the screen. little areas you can explore. Maybe some secret um, levels. I think I'm just gonna stick to the hard difficulty. I'm not gonna go crazy with the um, nightmare health limitations. There's the Slipshare logo. <laughs> so the first two episodes are done. Third one and the fourth one are coming later. I think it's a um, pretty good idea to show the first episode. The start, and then after that go to episode two. I don't even remember everything from episode 1, so it's gonna be a nice, refreshing, nostalgic uh, experience for myself as well.
The Shifting Domain, Episode 1. There's a small easter egg on, on that tunnel if you do something there. I'm not gonna spoil that. <laughs> you guys can find that out yourself. So this is E1, M1 into the Moid. Moid, however you want to pronounce that. And this map is by Bullboy Q. The first version of this map was um, pretty different compared to the one that we have now. And to be honest, I don't remember <laughs> remember the changes that were made, but I'm just gonna experience it myself. Oh, that was bad. Good start for the playthrough. Corridors. And there's a lightning gun over there, but we can't get it yet. Something we have to do with those lasers. It's always a good jump scare. Sniping. even sure what to expect myself because I don't remember. <laughs> Fine. But I have to force yourself to move forward. Oh, what's this? Hmm, nice. What damage? 
This part is completely new. I don't remember anything of this. There are some nice touch-ups as well on on this room. This looks different. I'm gonna try and just rely on auto saves. I'm not gonna quick save. And see how lenient the checkpoints are. There's a button up there. It's the second secret of the level. Yeah, the um, episode 1 doesn't have much water section, so it's nice that it was added to the first map. Get to use the power up to move a little bit faster and so underwater. Hmm, interesting. Enemies have different skins based on episodes. The episode one, the night guys are like having some orange hi highlights. It's pretty clear to see them. Our gold key. There's probably se secrets hidden here somewhere. But, uh, I haven't look looked up 100% uh, runs on, on these maps yet, so I wouldn't know where they are. something behind that wall. There's a button down there that activates a secret up here. It's a pretty cool secret. Spooky room. There's a good chance that I will just completely forget about the lightning gun, but you will see. Oh, I see. 
Actually, I think I missed the secret. Should be around here. Yeah, now I remember. Yeah, that fight earlier, that was really, really nicely layered. Okay, now we know what we have to do. Huh. Or, I mean, at least I know what I have to do. <laughs> huh. 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 Just a battery. Lasers deactivated, so now we can get our stuff that we saw earlier. Which was over here. <laughs> A bit lost with the layout because um, I'm so used to the first person of the map. <laughs> and now let's progress to the old door and use our cold key. Mm. Before there used to be like platforms and, and fighting here, but uh, the newer version you just have this lovely scenery that you can walk through. Something over there. You can make that jump. I think there's like yeah, little path there where you can climb up. I am missing one secret, but uh, who cares? I'm not going for absolute maximum completion. Man, these, these hallways look really cool. It's probably hard to tell because it's really dark.
shortcut, okay. And that's the final fight of the map, I think. Really cool room. One down. Many, many more to go. Duet with Duat. E1, M2. By Greenwood, I think. This is probably the coolest song in episode one. It's just my own opinion, of course. There's a neat little shortcut that you can do with some clever ramp jumping on the pillar, but uh, I'm, I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna play normally. so badly. Secret button up there. Gives you a nice pentagram over here. It's a pretty nasty surprise. Need some shotgun damage if you walk in careless. Yes, 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 big all this particular setup here where there's a knight behind a corner. It is called Greenwood Knight. There's another one. Oh crap, they say. The stairs have gone down. Trapped. When you know what you're doing, samplers are really easy to take care of. <laughs> yeah, impressions. I, I can't do impressions at all because of... My accents. Just some silly if I try. So now we got the key and we gotta go out. With another Greenwood Knight behind the corner. A 
don't really have good use for this pentagram pickup. It's absolutely crucial if you want to speedrun this map. You, you can just do amazing grenade jumps. Fairly easy secrets. So if you miss the lightning gun on the first level, you can get it here pretty, pretty easily. It's beautiful, isn't it? The skybox, the music, the lighting, and all the props. So cool. Now there's a few different things you can do here. You can go explore this bottom courtyard area if you want. There's more, something more important that we have to do first over here, or later. I really like how open-ended this is. It's, it's open space and can also do it in a little bit different order. Non-linear non in a way. Yeah, the Quake community creations have been really great for the past few years. I could have announced the whole team at the start, but I kind of forgot. <laughs> I'll just get to the mappers and different devs and stuff like that when we get to the new levels. We'll talk about them in a natural way, I guess. here. Okay. Now we need a grenade launcher for the rest of the zombies. Oh, nice grenades. Ogres are really fun monsters to fight, and in, in like balconies like this, and this this obelisk, <laughs> it, it it was like redirecting the grenade right to my face. Perfect. And 
done all this stuff. Some extra resources around the corner. Grenade launcher and shortcut way back to the starting area. There we go, all secrets and kills. At least this map is um, fairly easy to get all secrets and kills in. Also, this map has not changed much from the first version. I don't I don't think there was any changes actually. Oh, and one more thing before we leave and check out the next level. These torches that we have on the ground. That's also a thing that Greenwood really likes to do on every map that he makes. All, all of them have these little torches. Yeah, there's so much detail. And I really love the mappers' uh, works, making their own little nods here and there, like those torches. The textures are really cool. This tomb area with the statues and stuff. So cool. Under a funeral moon. D1M3 by Void Force. This map is something special. It, it really looks like it's a realistic um, place that would exist. Void Force also was working on a lot of programming stuff for Quake C. So we can thank him for helping to finish 12 faster than it, should, <laughs> it would have been. His, his help was absolutely helpful to get the project done. Should have picked up the quad damage. There we go. long time since I last played this level. Before, these corridors didn't have any purpose, they just had these traps and no items to pick up or buttons to shoot. But now there's an uh, actual secret for it. Get this armor. So beautiful just to look around. Oh yeah, this this map has changed quite a bit. But I've not played any of the new changes. So this is gonna be a 
fun little new experience for me as well. Though I've seen some of the stuff. Um, these buttons that you can press. damage. set up. have so many so many targets to choose to fight while also trying to dodge the grenades the always are train raining on you. <laughs> this is our little secret button. I need to start I need to start using more more grenades. I have so many rockets. <laughs> but there's so many shells that you could use and spend shooting stuff and speaking of shooting I've seen this puzzle as well it's kind of cool there we go have to be a little bit faster A ring. Good enough. Be there. This room has some funky angles with the stairs and stuff. They're not quite angled in ninety degrees. Really interesting design. Surprising slidey boy coming down the stairs.
Yeah, just like ex excited puppy. Some hidden buttons above these doorways. Oh yeah, the, the dunes. Too bad you can't get out of there. You're being blocked by invisible walls. I, I personally wouldn't do this, like this type of um, blocking. It's fine. It's pretty hard to come up with some clever way to block the player here. So it's forgivable. <laughs> now this is where things get interesting. This area is like a massive battle. Yes, over the half of monsters in this level are located in this area. I'm not ready. I don't, I don't even know how the new version of this goes, so <laughs> it will be a learning experience. Yeah, yeah, this is inspired by Serious Sam for sure. I mean, everything each of this is Serious Sam, basically. Also, hi, hi DTA. Welcome, welcome watching Quake. Our little project that we worked for a bit over two years, I think, yeah. I don't even remember anymore, it was so long time that we spent. Nah, no one cares about money. these little buttons that you have to find, which is pretty... Uh, detailed, tedious... chore that you have to <laughs> go through, but it's kind of fun. And that's one of them, I think. How many did I have? Three? Two? There's one. Yeah, that's the last one. Now we have a little sequence up there. I remember this part. I don't need my rockets anyways. Get out of this way, you have to go back here. A little platforming here. Some help. If I remember correctly, to start the actual battle, you have to go down here. Let's go. Or do I have to pick up the quad? No, oh, I guess so. <laughs> and yeah, speaking of serious sun, those enemies look pretty familiar. Intense moment. 
Yeah, hi, hi, Becca. This is our little dev fake stream showcasing our our little mod. to stay on top of this platform to get rewarded. So let's try our best. That's pretty hard. <laughs> Back to the checkpoint. I'm not playing all the levels from the start if I die. I'm not gonna do that. Wait, do I have to? Oh yeah, break. Damn plates. Yeah, some of the inspiration comes directly from Valiant. I'm not sure how much this map particularly has taken from them. Okay. Just save save the lightning gun for later. Do this part first. Just in case. I guess I could have gone up there with the quad, that could have helped. See, it's gonna be rough again because I don't have resources to survive. Yeah, you know what. Just quick save here. Just so we can save time so we don't have to watch all the same parts all over again. That's it. Wasn't so bad. Your reward waits outside. Okay. We can't get outside yet. <laughs> Let's get the lightning gun now.
Silver key, goes for this place, and more monsters, okay. Super chill, super chill soundtrack for this level. I really like it. I've been saving myself. I'm gonna be maxed out soon. Start using those. This is also a nice test to see how, how much you get ammo if you play a little bit more carefully. Yeah, this power up is really cool. Gives you like 10x damage. And take half of the damage from monsters, so you can just go to town. Yep, and that's the end of the level. So yeah, that, that power-up was added on the newer version. It wasn't on the previous one, when we made the first episode. It's a really nice tutorial fight for, for that Berserk power-up. Get out of here. <laughs> One M four. French. That's that's the map name, French. You can read it on the bottom of the screen. I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> So this map is created by by Fairweather. And they are the project lead on, on Twelve. Pulling the strings basically, doing everything. Modeling, scripting, coming up with ideas and so on. I'm 
gonna save that quad for later. There's another breathing and speed for underwater. Really handy to have. Oh yeah, there's a secret button. Environmental storytelling, yes. That's exactly what it is. This is where things get pretty interesting. This is completely new area added in the newer version of the release. Get a new weapon. It's called Rotary Shotgun. powerful shotgun, as you can tell, probably. Even dead knights go down in two bursts. They have some really nice combos with like lightning gun and nail guns and then switching to the shotgun. It's not very efficient at the distance. You will miss more than you doing more damage. Some nails here. Grab them with us. I like how it starts with this um, Romero lift. And then you open up to this space and have to fight. It's a pretty fun room. Now we get back to the normal progression of the level again. fun to use. <laughs> oh, it's a trap. There's more, more Kamikaze monsters. From not not serious some some other game I guess. Don't sue us. Okay, I think this is the part where we can use the quad damage.
pretty smooth fight. Went just as planned. I completely forgot that there was <laughs> some Amigas is right around the corner. That hurt quite a bit. We have the one power up again. Good to have a nice mad rush. Just loop back here in a pretty cool way. Yep, it's so so satisfying. It's like the monsters can't even do anything to you because you kill them so fast. <laughs> the Berserk power. There, but um, I'll, I'll do it in a bit. It's a pretty interesting secret. Mm -hmm. It's almost like there's a patch or something there. Drop. Actually, found a secret. There's a cold door. There's a um, cold door here as well. Interesting. Lighting on this map, so so cozy. Okay, 
useful secret. We really want to have that. With the ominous autosave and music fade out. <laughs> Perfect timing. Oh, the hits can help her. Hmm, I wonder if that's gonna be useful. Well, that's a lot of grunts. <laughs> There's just something so cool about spamming the weakest monsters as much as you can and just annihilate them. <laughs> it's a really nice setup. That's totally totally doable without uh, the ring of power. I mean, ring of shadow. speed is uh, such a good quality of life thing to have. Makes playing underwater so much more fun. out of eight secrets be good I missed something but I can't recall what it was oh yeah of course it's it's right here Duh. get another cold key Two cold keys. That's the title drop. <laughs> Quite literally, drop. Uh, that's the normal exit for the level, but we have still something to explore. Aha, uh -huh, secret level. 
who would have had guessed that? <laughs> That's right. Oh. That's some texture bug here. We have to report this forward and fix it and patch it. That's unfortunate. But anyways, yeah. Lost D1 M4. The French title map. Only 18 minutes for 270 kills. Pretty good. This is the secret level. B1 M9. So, 9 is the slot for secret levels. Vestito by JCR. Oh, the water sound is pretty loud. It's a cool secret. It's good to memorize this area, this layout. There might be something familiar later down the road when you get further in the episodes. Seek the Golden Gate. these doors. You shoot four locks and then it opens in this epic way. It's a really nice design. This level has really cool, um, what would you call this, like corruption style infestation with the, the blood and gore. This room in particular is pretty gruesome. You can see the floor moving up and down. Hmm, I wonder what that's about. Maybe there's something hidden in the map. This is one of those levels that I haven't played in ages. One. 
There's another key on this area. But, uh, where it is, I'm not sure. I don't remember the progress. Here, I guess. weird monster jumps in this room because of the terrain I guess so that they can move oh I remember this part this is pretty pretty cool well they managed to actually pincer me <laughs> This weapon, it's so cool. This loops all the way back here. That's a pretty, pretty mean explosion. I don't think it's supposed to be that wide explosion. Maybe worth updating so that you don't get annoying moments like this. the key. It's up here, right? No, oh, this is just a loop. in this tunnel. to the platforms that we did earlier.
There's another wall secret here. Just don't remember. If that's the button that you have to hit. Oh well. This might take you twice. Okay, maybe not jumping from that little break is not a good idea. Oh, no, that wasn't it. It's weird that you can hit the wall. Or is that a bug? <laughs> that's that's a good idea to check. Also, I think I missed something on the bridge as well. One of those um, alcoves had a destructible stone, whatever that is. Oh, okay. You just hit that. Man, I'm so dumb. I, I don't remember any of this. save just in case because I, I think there's something weird here yeah this wall explodes Yeah, I, I remember the wall had some interesting properties with the explosives, so took it a little bit careful. for 100% clears on this map especially. I, I don't remember like half of the secrets. And besides it's gonna take quite, quite some time to get through all of these maps. Okay. 
there's a place here that I remember, but not how you get there. <laughs> Again, one of these hearts. Got more? No. Some zombies down there. This fiend is um, transparent. That's also one one bug related to feature that we wanted to have um, as well. But more on that later when we actually get to see those dead knights. <laughs> it's a way to get across. there yet, so just climb back up. something later. Mm. Oh, I remember there was a path here that you can take, right? Yeah. This leads you here. It's all right, more progression, I guess. Let's go back up here. I like how useless that grenade was. Explosion here. That's a good thing to note. I think we had that earlier on some versions, but it was fixed before. I don't even know anymore. So weird. space. This area is a really cool looking area. Mm. Just 
those weird tentacles over the pyramid. We get another key. It's three golden keys that we carry now, and we used one, so we have one extra. Oh yeah, this is how you open it, right? the most useful secret, but yeah, it's still a secret. A lot of ammo. Okay, let's head back down to the main hub. our puzzle. Wait, there's something here first. cells and two of the power-ups. All for free. If you want to go tapping underwater, you can do that now. There's so one more thing up here that we need to check out. Okay. I believe this is JCR's dog. So it's a pretty cute Easter egg. Here is his signature grave. Hearing the fish, but I don't see them. Oh well, they can stay. We can move on. little set piece boss fight at the end. And then the map ends. And 
that took 24 minutes. Yeah, I missed four secrets and I, I think I know a few of them. And this whole area where you have the zombies and the detour. And now we are on the fifth map, E1M5. That which can get to no lie. By Henry. This is one of my favorite maps in the episode 1. There have been like few touch-ups on, on the newest release, the patches. But yeah, the, the layout and the style is just gorgeous. It's, it's a beautiful map. And here we have the slightly transparent Dead Knights. After this point all the Dead Knights are like host-like monsters basically. of this level is that there's many silver key doors and a lot of keys and you have to like decide which areas you want to do first it's uh, pretty fun two different ways how you can play the level since we've seen nail traps. It's a nice loop around. There's um, enforcers showing the way. This area. setups it's so fun you have the fiends coming from both sides and you have augurs running on this bridge oh speaking of augurs there's one over there You, <laughs> it's time to use more grenades. 87 rockets to use. This area was completely added in the new version. Just for the key pickup, you can see down there. That's a bad miss. Oh, 
I believe, yeah, there's a secret over there. Just have to go around. Too bad I'm already full themselves. I think I used to do the other door first, this one. Pretty hectic room to fight in. Secret button. Some goodies. There's also another function for that. if you can make it by running up. Not quite. Have to use the teleport. Get the rocket launcher here first time. annoying when you don't see where the spawn is jumping and you're just taking damage. <laughs> you're fairly safe behind this platform if you just stand still. So powerful and fun to use against shambles. <laughs> if only we had something like that on Quake Champs. 
Oh wait, we do. It's it's Nuke's ability. Going invisibility and telefragging you randomly. Totally skillful skill to have. That's the level, I think. Man, this, this room looks cool when you just take a moment to look around. Yeah, I'm full on rockets already. Is the one secret? Don't even remember where. Yes, fitness the ability of me. Ability to remove monsters from map. Oh, thanks for the follow. O O O D is now following. O O O T. Map six. Hitting the flight kingdom. Uh, this is by Marky Music. He's a really good mapper with details. Like his um, attention to details is really nice. He makes maps. And the layouts are pretty cool that he makes. Case in point, just look at this, this opening. It's so beautiful. He also made a music track for this, this particular level. I just love how, love how the, um, the bridge blows up. <laughs> so nice. Some scares. To be honest, it might be the prettiest room in Quake. It's a very good contender for that. Well, this was changed. There's some different way to open this system, right? Man, I don't remember anything. <laughs> I just remember that there's something, something here that you have to trigger. Oh boy. Mm. A little window where you can see the future path. Where you're gonna get to. This is a small little secret here. Just a little jumping puzzle. I like jumping and quick jumps and all that stuff. There's another jump scare for you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 
the shortcut over here. Uh, this is killing me. I, I just want to know how this opens. I can't remember. Funny to be full of rockets all the time. So many rocket pickups. Whatever. It's a little bit of a waste. forgot that I had the rocket launcher as well. Just use that instead of grenades. This layout stuff and the, and the trim work and everything is so cool. Very pretty rooms. There were two knights on the sides. This dead knight is not transparent for some reason. Mm. Another thing to add to the bug tracker. Getting pretty intense. There's so many more samples, and and the atmosphere is getting more thicker. Stand trying to get me. 
Yeah, I missed two secrets. Great. It's up there, I know that. But I, I don't remember how to do this. Oh well. We get to move on. It's a fairly short map, only takes like 10 minutes to play through. I mean, if you do it slowly. I could have played much faster as well. Here we have map 7. Episode 1, of course. Dark Star Prime Freight. Or however you pronounce that second word, <laughs> it's hard to say. This map is made by Pinchy. Uh, They have a very unique style of making maps, and this is one of the better examples of this works. It's uh, quite a wild one. Void map. Just floating in space now. first, instead of entering outside. Some sea fighting here with the platforms. <laughs> I never noticed that before. arrow things that you see are like jump pads mm. this level. Mm. It takes some time to get used to them, seeing them, where you can use them. It's unnecessary to go that room up there. There's a little secret if you fall down, you 
get teleported. But if you're quick with your movement, you can find something over there. Which apparently I'm not. <laughs> Let's do that again. There you go, you get the free red arm. And now finally we get to move up. It's it's kind of hard to see, but okay, never mind. Do that again. Oh yes, flash everywhere. These things are jump pads, um, apparently. <laughs> Another one of those like weird design things. So um, just have to get used to them. Towers look really cool when you get to see them from outside. If there's any questions about like what what this is, um, I can I can try to answer those. If anyone has anything? I have at least some knowledge of uh, of this project. <laughs> Oh yeah, I would love to see Robert play this. Oh damn! I'm I'm getting too old for this as well, so I'm making mistakes. Oh, there's so many of them. It's a, it's a rare sight. I mean, I guess voice or sound <laughs> in this case. <laughs> this is changed. That, that was not there before. This this is not the this is not the Macon textures. This is um, Sock Egypt by by a guy called Sock. These are very old textures from early two thousands, I think. Yeah. I've, I've used this before in Quake 3 when I used to make Quake 3 maps. Kinda, kinda cool to see them in Quake 1 as well. And I started getting into Quake 1. Oh yeah, definitely. There's like... 
they've been used a lot. <laughs> that that's uh, certain. This, this went really fast. We are almost done with the first episode. Well, I say almost, but um, my map is quite huge, but I should be able to get through it pretty fast once we get there. We had one key, we had the silver key, but we need the gold key for the other one. So are all these rooms actually there in the geographical space? Are there silent teleporters and stuff? Um, yeah, the, the teleporters are like taking you to different places that are like like disconnected from from the actual level but all the doors and stuff it's it's fairly normal i don't think there's any silent teleporting going on like this place is inside the tower i think i can showcase that yeah if i no clip outside you can see that we are inside the tower this huge structure here So yeah, it's an actual place. All of these towers are... Now we need to get to the other tower <laughs> to get the silver key. No, I mean the gold key. angle shooting there <laughs> so oh, come on that sucks Nothing happened. We, we didn't fall or anything. Huh. It seems like this part is changed as well from the previous versions. Huh. So there's a new progression to this place. support them. Yeah, 
the navigation has been changed for this level. are pretty weird encounters where you can just stand on the top and eliminate everything without any risks. I remember there's like a rocket launcher secret all the way over there but I don't care for it right now. Yeah, I mean, getting lost is definitely a something that um, that can be a cool thing if you do it right. <laughs> but there are people who would like to just get to the end and experience everything. This is a cool fight, I think. go to the last part of the level, finally. I have any armor though. Did I leave anything back somewhere? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, there's that secret as well. This armor over there. Yeah. Yeah, I'll check it out. Oh, there's armor here. need to get there. Oh yeah, now there's a thing here where you can get to the end. You don't even have to climb the tower anymore.
to all the hits. Hi. Weird placement for jumper. the spawn placement. <laughs> What the hell? What dwells below? Once again. Missed three secrets and a couple monsters. Not too bad. Oh damn, I've been going for this for like two and a half hours already. Just for the episode one. I think I can do everything in two streams. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Alex. Here we are. E1 M8 Prescience Overload. Something something Dune In references. Three hundred and seventy two monsters. Easy. <laughs> Twenty four secrets. It's like a fortress of Egypt in, in an empty space. Yeah, nowadays 24 is like the standard. Surprised by nights. <laughs> yeah, did, did I mention that this, this map is mine? Sure. So forgetful. 
but yeah, this is my map, obviously. get to experience all the bullshit movement tec techniques that this map has. Some of them which are pretty hard to perform, like this one. Yes, I, I get the hard part but then I fail the easy jump. Nice, nice going. Useful lightning gun if you don't have one. Um, hidden pentagram on, on the water. Um, now you want to take the quad damage, I think. This is your one. It's over here. some damage <laughs> and that would be funny to die on my own map It's a cool little mega health secret. There's stuff over there, but you can't get there yet. I mean, you could always rocket jump. You really don't need to do that. Go 
little sniping point. Some hidden buttons. Let's take that. Actually, yeah, let's save those. Ambush. Still around. smoking when I made this this part of the figure. surprising spawn and that's all yes gee I wonder what the reference here is Lasers. There's some bricks that you can press. With the involved little sicker. I thought there was some. Something up here. I grab the pentagram now. Just just for fun.
much fun to just rush through and kill monsters. go for the secret lightning gun, but it takes time to get back here. Or maybe I should just do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll showcase it. No lasers. Yeah. You can take this secret. one secret that I didn't take. So much to explore in this map. jump <laughs> track the four one hundred percent nails okay here I think then take this yeah. now we get to run back Nice little backtracking section where you get to fight again in the same areas. And you get to get new, new stuff, new secrets and stuff. Actually, yeah, let's go this way. It's kind of funny how you can enter with this little balcony over here. This is gonna go well. I'll try. Okay, 
let's go. that hitting me before it even hit me. I can take this first. Um, hi. Assassin raids you silly with a party of 20 epic gamers. Hi, Alopecia Assassin. Thanks for the raid. I'm showcasing the the mod that we worked for quite quite a while. What were you playing? Doom, I guess. Now that I have the feature, I can actually uh, do this. Are you playing quick? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I'm almost finished with this. This is end of my level. I made this map that we are currently playing. a secret that I wanted to get earlier. Yeah, I mean... If you guys want to get this, you can go to Slip here and download it. Get the... Um, get the source port and everything set up. It's fairly easy to do.
Yeah, there's the link. The slips here. It's a site for mappers to host their own stuff and update them however they wish. So it's pretty useful. Well, it's uploaded there. It's it's like 700 megabytes. It's quite a chunky download, but uh, yeah. The music and everything takes a lot of space. this area after the gold key door. <laughs> nice. That was nice three rockets. Perfectly calculated. You can tell that I've I've played quite a quite a bit and I know the damage values. One more secret over there. This one. Yeah, the PSP sizes are insane. The music takes a lot, but the PSPs take a lot as well. Some of them are like 30 megabytes. This is actually a reference to the earlier version of this map. The episode 1 boss used to be here, where the meat statue is. Or the fountain. But now it's um, it's in different time. There's something else here. These guys should be pretty familiar to people who have played FPS games. It's not the Doom anymore. Quake has louder maps as well. It's so fun to do stuff like this. Yeah, 
that's about it. Oh, there's some teleports that you can use in this fight if you can't keep around moving too fast. That leaves us with the last level. I wonder what secrets did I miss? Well, if you guys thought that was cool, here is the actual, actual uh, final boss of the episode one. I mean, I can totally understand if you don't want to watch this and save yourselves from for, for the spoilers, but it's pretty cool. The music is so great on this. Um, this map is made by Fairweather and... Um, No, it's just fair though, I think, yeah. And this model is this work of Fairweather and Paul, I think. At least the texturing, I think. It's the boss, but it's it's not doing anything right now until we do something here. Oh no, this is not my map. This is this is um This is the end fight that was made by Weather. Thanks for the memories is the map name. <laughs> it's a nice pun. So when, when you do enough damage to the boss um, and you get teleported into a countlet with, with full of uh, monsters. Yes, this is directly inspired from Half-Life. There's a cool power up here. fire faster.
to get another another face. pretty wild. I have to focus a little bit on the gameplay. <laughs> another room clear Damage is really high if they hit you directly. It's pretty scary to be honest. just have to finish off the boss. Damn. <laughs> I 
I got it. The rocket jump and everything. The next rocket kills it. Perfect timing. GG, indeed. It's time to leave this place. It's beautiful, isn't it? Man, this is still like really fun to play, even though I've played this many times before already. It still like holds up, holds up for new new replays. <laughs> Because the weapons are so fun and the power-ups. Oh yeah, here's the lore. Amazing music. And that's it. That's the episode one complete. Is there some kind of um? Yeah, okay. that's a complete sign. Nice. But yeah, seriously, Alex, Alex with a K, with a K did such an amazing job with the, the soundtrack. It's so cool. There's like maybe maybe five tracks that I really like that I I could listen like forever on the loop. I would get not tired with those. Just one more time. Oh, maybe I shout all this wrong. I think it's just saying what, what I'm st <laughs> streaming on. But yeah, you, you get the idea. Man, it's been a little bit over three hours. Yeah, I'm definitely saving saving the episode two for another day. It's already 1 a.m. here in Finland. GG's indeed. Thanks for the GG's. You're welcome. Hope hope you guys learned something new from Twitter. <laughs> I know I mean no one really asked any questions, but you know. It's just rambling. Trying to come up with something interesting to say. You get to see the amazing outer screen. I'm gonna see if there's someone on online and Send a raid.
I will be back to this and probably tomorrow if I'm not busy doing anything else. I don't have anything to do in Mondays. Would love to get it done done quickly. Oh yeah, Comfy is um, <laughs> streaming Smay the uh, Finnish uh, episode jam that we had a long time ago. Let's let's go there. That's a um, good enough continuation for a quick. I didn't even realize how many people were watching. Yeah. But yeah, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.